Hi guys, welcome back to the shed, Mark Jordan. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be the video that I'm supposed to be up in next. I was supposed to be sharing with you my video of my X Max, but I had so many comments as regards my FPV stuff. I did a few videos back, uh, and that's when I actually had it set up on my uh, lossy DBXLE. If you have a look down there, but I actually took it off there, and so then I set it up onto my uh, Traxxas Summit. And you saw the review of my uh, new wheels and tyres I put on here, but. What I'm going to do today is just go through exactly the setup of my FPV for my car. So I'm running a 1.2 gigahertz uh, system, but I'm running them through my FastShark Predator goggles. So keep tuned and I'll guide you through the whole process. All right, guys. So, yeah, basically I am going from uh, the battery and this runs through into a three cell uh, LiPo battery, which is a uh, Velcroed to the back. Uh, so then basically this all system, so th then the receiver has got this antennae thing on, which obviously transmits the picture. So running through the box, and then as I said, we chase this wire all the way through, all the way down here, and then into this uh, Foxer uh, camera. Now basically this is a, can run up to 12 volts this camera, uh, it's a very good camera and I've got it fitted on a little uh, servo which is mounted inside the, the bonnet of the truck as you can see and it's controlled on my uh, DX6i uh, transmitter so that's the camera setup and that's the setup of the car so basically I'll just run over again so basically yeah you've got the four wires coming out you've got the yellow green red and black uh, white we don't use uh, the black and the red are your main cables and your yellow is your video feed. Uh, I spliced into the black and the red cable to actually put a battery connector there so that I could then power it with the 3S uh, LiPo battery as you see there. So now let's go onto the ground station and see how it all hooks up. Okay guys? Okay so basically from the, the car itself this needs to link up to a, uh, a receiver as well. So basically, the picture is actually uh, sent from this via the camera through the receiver, and then it's picked up to my, sorry, I'm moving around here, to my ground station. Now basically my ground station is set up uh, not just for uh, my FPV, but for also my, uh, Fat shark goggles to uh, or my my cameras and stuff to come through to the monitor so that I can get the best of both worlds. I can get two pictures. I can get one through the goggles and I can also get one coming through the transmitter. So basically, as I say, this system is a 1.2 gigahertz and it's all linked up to the other box. So you get the two parts into the box. Uh, so basically. Uh, you can choose between your channels on the top of here as well. You can see uh, I'm showing channel six. There's a button on there. This is actually eight channels. So you've got eight channels to try and find your picture. And on the top here, this is actually a 16 channel uh, radio uh, receiver. So it gives you a few more channels to uh, pick from. So basically what I've done, this is your power out outlet. So I've run a cable all the way down into this and I've made a couple of fixings I know they don't look uh, that pretty but hey ho and so basically this uh, receiver is powered by another 3s lipo uh, the good thing about this you get plenty of power out of a uh, 3s and it, it lasts for ages because this is only when you have a look at it it's only a little tiny little uh, receiver so it doesn't take a huge amount of, of batteries so basically from this uh, you get this this cable in the kit and basically you get uh, a long cable which goes all the way down like that with a a jack adapter like that on the end and basically that's a three jack three three uh, part jack uh, which will plug into uh, a fat shark goggles so basically on here you've got video out so basically yellow is your video and white is your audio. It doesn't need to be plugged in with the audio because we're not really using the audio anyway. So then we follow it all the way down, as I said, to the jack point on the end. So that then 
will go in to that hole there. So bear with me while I just do that. Let's grab the, uh, sorry about this. It's really hard to do when you've got, you know, one pair of hands. So, okay. So basically that's our port plugged into there, uh, following the cable all the way back up to our receiver. Now to actually power the fat sharp predator goggles, I've just used the standard uh, battery that comes with it. And that's enough to last a good half an hour or so, maybe more. So the one important thing is, I'll just look at you again. The one thing with this little setup is, on the bottom of the fat sharks, these are actually designed to uh, only run 5.8 uh, gigahertz. So by what we're actually doing now, on the base of these, I'll just zoom in, you see this, you see this little switch. Basically, when you get the fat sharks, it is set to a 5.8 gigahertz a, uh, setting to receive 5.8. And that's in that position. It's in the, the, the furthest towards the front of the goggles position. That will receive 5.8 gigahertz. But when it's set up like I've got it set up, uh, you want it to set up to a 1.2. So basically, all you need to do, that switch there is flip it up. And then now your fingers crossed your whole system you're actually powered this is all powered on ready to go you can see the channels on lipos plugged in camera is unplugged let's go to our receiver you can see channel six on here you've got your two wires in this extra alive is is not needed because we're powering it externally with the lipo battery following this all the way down and it links into our fat shark now if you have a look, I'm not sure you're going to be able to pick this up on the, uh, sorry, just bear with me. There you go. You can see I'm actually transmitting a picture of the shed, inside of my shed. A uh, bit hard to see, but generally that's it in a nutshell. I know it's, it was really hard to try and explain to you via holding the camera and stuff like that but hopefully you can actually see how I did it and this system works absolutely fantastic and because it is a 1.2 gigahertz system I can actually see through buildings through everything and I can still pick it up onto my fast sharks uh, so I hugely recommend this system as I said it's not expensive it's uh, about 60 pound for that part I know you've got to buy the goggles and uh, the camera and stuff but the whole entire system probably it works out to be about £300. I know £300 is a lot of money, but if you're actually into FPV, you're pretty much going to have a set of goggles, whether they be the Fat Sharks or the Ishines, or the even box type goggles, which you can get for about 30 quid. So, But you can hook it all up. And by doing hooking it up in this way, you'll get a really good picture and it'll be consistent all the time with no breakup and no lag through buildings. So. Okay guys, well I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope I've made it clear. Believe me, it took me ages to actually sort out my setup and I'm really happy with it, I've had no problems with it. So if you need to know any more about my setup, please comment uh, and I'll try to answer my...